You told me earlier that the southern voice of Brenda was based a little bit on your mom, a little bit on your sister? Yeah, I, it, because I'm from, the, my mother is from Mississippi, huh? and I grew up in Texas. And uh, I, I try not to sound like it because <laughs> I, I found that when I do sound like I come from Texas, people actually slow down when they speak to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I learned that I learned that very early on when I was tending bar. I'd say, "Hi, can I help you?" And they'd say, "Yes, I'd like an apricot sour." <laughs> <laughs> so I found it convenient to sort of lose the accent, but uh, but I, I sort of endowed I sort of endowed the character with that, and also because I wanted I you know there's a lot of shows about Los Angeles, but. Well, I, I like Los Angeles, uh, but a lot of people don't. You know, <laughs> uh, people hear L.A. and they get like all like, you know, oh, don't go there. You might like it. So <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted to have a character in Los Angeles who could look at it as in a more problematic way, the way most of America looks at it, you know, and, and a Southern. And also, uh, you know, I grew up. Uh, in a place where uh, there were a lot of very intelligent people who knew how to pronounce the word nuclear. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! I'm not, I, I don't care what your political party is. You should know how to pronounce the word nuclear <laughs> if you're the president. <laughs> anyway, I grew, up, I grew up where there were a lot of smart, talented people with southern accents, but that was like, you know, on television, it was the Dukes of Hazard or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought it would be great, you know, to have a, um, a character that, who was sometimes the smartest person in the room with a southern accent.